Hey guys, Emma again. Welcome back. This is kind of a bonus video in this little engine series. I've been quickly this weekend just making up a little pressure pump to test the boiler and a few other little things. This is what I've got. Fingers crossed that this is small enough and is watertight enough to pump that boiler up to, to pressure to test it. All I've used is basically the, the instructions out of LBSC's Shed Shop and Road, which is a good book if you can get it. And it's got a 3 bronze ball in the top and the bottom here. The top one's got a, a flat surface to sit on. And the boiler pressure basically gives that, gives, keeps it down on its seat, or the the water pressure. This one's got a, a seat on the on the nut that screws in there, and the pressure in the pump holds that down. So that's pretty straightforward. This is just a, a bronze bush I had laying around, and a bit of brass because that's about all I had that was easy to machine it'll do the job it's got a groove in it and just some plumbers tape like wrapped around rolled up and wrapped around until it is a tight fit in there so there's a fair bit of pressure there that'll squirt that about under my finger there that'll squirt that about six seven feet can see that so this has got to be sitting in the water to suck probably it would have been smarter to have a nipple or a connection on the bottom there with another pipe to a tank but this will do the job whether I glue it or screw it or something down in a tub like this in a plastic container or whether I make a brass tank for it or find a tin can or something that I can screw it in or rivet it in. That's still still remains to be seen. I've still got to make some nipples for here and some nuts to connect the pipes. And I've been across today and I found a a 38 BSP cap for this. And I've drilled him and silver soldered a fitting on the end of that. If you have a look, that's 45% silver, a little bit that I had. And you see the nice shiny joint. And then we talked about that in the last video. So that's probably overkill, but it's a good accurate gauge. And that's just going to work laying down and we connect a T through here onto the pump and onto the boiler so that's the test equipment and test rig I don't know if you're interested in how I made this set these up in the tool post and drilled them nice and square my drill press is out of commission at the moment but that's another story and there'll be a video about that towards the end of the week I'd imagine This is just this this square stock's just key steel. It's just a soft steel that you buy. It's um, five sixteenth and three sixteenth. And I've just filed the, the slots in these to so that it all links up. So really, that's a pretty simple little little pump. And it hasn't got a lot of displacement or a lot of speed, but it's not a very big boiler. The thing I've been doing is painting this with some heat proof enamel, and I think that's finally done. So 
So there's the boiler in there. It'll give you some idea what it looks like. And it looks pretty neat and nice. I like that. This is tank's going to be very difficult to keep clean and polished. And I'm wondering whether I paint that like in the instructions or whether I leave it copper. I'm still thinking about that. We had a bit of a look at what colours and there was a lot of comments. Thanks guys. I really appreciate feedback. And I sort of said that there was going to be a competition and yes there is a bit. And yes I've decided what colour. The majority vote one. So we'll have a talk about that when we get to it. But thanks for watching guys and more soon. And appreciate your comments and feedback. And appreciate your likes. And keep them coming because I'll try and keep the videos coming. Thanks guys.